Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. It's been a while since I last made one of these. And this time we're gonna show the brand new tool from X-Ray, it's called the Horizontal Rear Body Pose Gauge, which work as a template for mounting body shells uh, for the horizontal uh, body mounting position. And a lot of drivers find it tricky or difficult to mount the body in this way, with the pose coming out of the, um, the rear of the body shell instead of going through the top in a vertical position. So. Uh, for this reason, we made this tool, it makes it a lot simpler, easier, and most of all, it makes it possible to mount the body in the exact same way every time. And uh, let's get to it, let's see how we can use this tool to mount this brand new body shell right here. Okay, so let's take a look at the gauge. We have three different uh, number scales here. The one right in the middle is for checking the the rear height of the body shell from the board to the, the little edge or the rear corner here of the rear bumper which I'm going to show you how to do once the body shell is mounted. We then have this gauge here which goes from 5 to 15 so that's to check the height of the, the body shell from the floor to the edge of the, the front lip and the sides to make sure that you have a good clearance to the ground so you can adjust the height of the body shell depending on the track surface and also we have these two gauges here which they're used to center the gauge <coughs> between these two rear wing mounts here so as you can see quite easy to make sure that the center tanks to these lines, these very fine lines, which you can use to center the body shell inside of the gauge. And of course, this is compatible with all popular body shells on the market. But in this case, I'm using the Extreme Twister. So once this looks centered here, I got these lines uh, right in the middle of the body shell and I always use these wing mounts as gauges okay I'm happy with how centered that is then we take a look at these two holes here we're gonna use a sharpie to mark the spot for the holes And that way the holes are perfectly in the center, everything's square. And I'm going to use a hoodie, small body reamer to make these holes. Since this is a ultra light body shell, I'm going to be very cautious as I punch these holes in the body shell. So keep in mind this tool is only compatible with the X-Ray X4 because the distance between the holes varies between cars. So this is not compatible with the X-Ray T4 unfortunately. And then once again make sure you're careful when you punch these holes since the lightweight body shells that we use today are very thin in this area. Okay, that's all done. We have the holes made and now we can mount this body shell on the car. Okay, now the body is all mounted up here as you can see. I've cut out all the wheel wells, I've cut the sides and the front lip, everything's good to go. But now I'm going to demonstrate how we can use this gauge. Uh, with the two scales that I showed you earlier. So for example here in the rear we can check the the height of the body shell. So you can see where the little edge of the bumper here it lines up with 65 millimeters here. That means that this edge 
is at 65 millimeters height, which is a bit high. We usually run this point between 62 and 65 millimeters for the twister body. And you can see on our setup sheets that we often play with this height. Also depending on the roof height rules that your race uh, is using, you may need to adjust it to make the body shell uh, at a legal height. So in this case, 65 here. You can adjust this by moving these posts up and down because there's a slot here on the X-ray X4 uh, horizontal body post mounting. So you can easily adjust this individually left and right until you have this particular height the same left and right. And you can also use this to tune the handling of the car. Lowering the rear of the body shell reduces downforce because you'll have uh, less of a rake effect on the body and uh, this will free up the rear and will give you more steering. So that's mainly recommended for uh, higher grip conditions. Whereas for lower grip, you should aim for a bit higher uh, body shell height to, to get a bit of that rake effect to increase the downforce to get uh, more rear grip and more overall traction. Uh, the other little gauge we have here is the, the height which you can use to check the, the sides and the front lip of the body. So you can see for example here, we can check how high the side of the body is, the clearance. So here it's close to 10 millimeters, which is a good clearance for most most tracks and conditions. Sometimes for uh, black carpet in the US, CRC black carpet, you need to use a bit higher to have better clearance and uh, less rubbing. And you can also use this in the front here to check uh, the height of the body shell. So in this case, we can see here that the, the front height is obviously a bit lower than the sides. So here it's, it's between seven and eight millimeters. So you can use this gauge Check the front lip height, the sides of the body, as well as the, the corner of the rear bumper to check the height of the rear of the body shell. So that's how we use the horizontal body post gauge from X-Ray.